The sun's all weird, isn't it? It's actually out. <laughs> we had a bunch of storms yesterday and the day before and the day before. We've had a bunch of flooding. I don't know, you can't see the river down there. Can you? But um, we're going down to check on the bees because I'm really worried. We're going to put in dry feed now because it, it will eventually get cold. So we're going to put dry feed. Uh, just sugar in the feeder and take the lid off of it and uh, but they had if you notice in our last uh, video they had like um, five or six frames of honey didn't they bury it yeah that's really they really looked good and so I'm not that worried about them I just uh, if when you have a week long period of rain it just worries me a bit so oh man I don't know if you can see that that's what's worrying me, Barrett. Yeah. I don't think that it's not showing up in the video very well. I don't have boats on either. I well, guess, I'm I guess hoping. you're prepared. <laughs> not really. That's why I was worried about whenever I saw the flash flood warnings last night. Pretty bad. Just saw a building like halfway underwater. All right, we're coming over the little rise here. Truth will be shown. Oh crap! Look oh. at that! Look at oh, that! Crap! No, it's good, Dad. It's straight up out of the water, exactly where it's placed. You can't see it, Barry. Hold the camera over there. Look through the viewfinder. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. We well, picked we I picked just that, the right place, Dad. I figured that elevation was at least high enough. Well, let's go down here and see if we can get around there. See if we can get a picture, <clears throat> an overall picture of the cows and everything. Poor cows. They're like, well, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, but they got to drive. The, they could, I don't know why they're down there near. They could be. Yeah, they're like drinking it. <laughs> uh, well, just in case. Yeah, I would say so, Dad. <laughs> Where the heck, how are we going? Well, we're going to have to go up this way. Hopefully we don't tear up the field too much here. Oh, Dad. Not looking good. What if we like slide? We're like sliding, uh, we're sliding. This isn't a good idea. This really isn't a good idea. No, I think you're right. Let me see if I can. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me put the camera down. It's starting to remind me of that time we were trying to drive to that range. I had to go up over there. This really isn't cool, Dad. <laughs> I guess it's pretty dry up here, huh? Yeah, I just don't want to tear up his field. I don't want to fall into the water. <laughs> fall into the water? Yeah, truck slide down there. Uh, it's pretty stable up here, see? Yeah, we're not sliding anymore. We will have to kind of park. Up here? Up here and, well look, we're just barely I know, it's legit like right at the foot of it. Oh God. We're just gonna turn just like this. <laughs> just so we can be turned to, and then we'll, we'll hike down from there. Yeah. Here. Yeah, they're flying though. They don't seem too unhappy. 
that is exactly what I visualized last night when I was worried. This right here. It's crazy how much stuff. Like there's a basketball over there. There you go. Well, there ain't much you can do here except just get wet. Let's see. So here we'll see if they're going to be under here. I just don't think they like it, Barrett. They haven't eaten any of that. Huh. There's a dead bee in there. I guess I just got enough food still. We're going to call this a bad experiment. <laughs> I'm going to put this board back and we're going to take this one off and kind of do away with this because now we'll just use dry feed and we'll smoke here good there weren't that many bees on that board so what I'm going to do is go ahead and Replace it. Kind of close them up a little bit. Over here we got roly polies. I guess they aren't that big of an enemy of bees, are they? Go home, bees. So, what I'm going to do is just take our Board loose here. And try to get the feeder out. There we go. Without making them too mad. What we're going to do now is just take the lid off this. It'll be more like an open feeder. There we go. Those are going to ditch the camera there for a second. Yeah, we're gonna do away with that for now. And look, there's still sugar water in there. So what we're gonna do is dump that out. And this is just going to become a dry feeder. It's just getting colder? Huh? Because it'll get colder, you want just... Yeah. Yeah, it's going to get colder, and so if we put water in here, it'll freeze. it'll freeze, and they won't be able to get any of it. Well, this will, I don't want to put too much in here because, well, I guess any at all is going to be, we'll start out with that much, and uh, that was probably about a pound. I don't, know. I don't want to create a situation where there's, I don't know, lots of robbing. I don't know that bees are out necessarily robbing this time of year. But and it was that simple. Now we don't have to worry about this board anymore being um, part of the picture. We'll just leave all this stuff here. Job well done, Dad. I don't think I got too wet. What you can't see, really, I don't think, 
you see all that washed up debris over there? Yeah. There was a there was actually some kind of flow going this way. And you can see here where it washed out. There the water was actually up higher. Yeah, I think so. We found this board. This board was leaned up against the front of the hive, letting some bees get off of it. It was over here. So that meant the water, look at that wash there, Barrett. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. That means the water was up here at one time. Uh, something has changed a little bit because my, my latch was latching. Really easily, I think this wood's got swollen up. I'm just more worried about the cow piles than I am <laughs> the bees. <laughs> well, Barrett, what do you think? Be all right. They're gonna be okay. What we'll do is maybe in the spring I'll put another load of gravel and we'll raise them up another six inches and level it out because it looks like. It's a lot more out of level than it was too. Like some of my gravel got washed out. But I can promise you that at some point in the night the flood waters were up this high. That's what I was gonna show you earlier is there's an area of gravel that's washed out right along there where I'm pointing. Are you there yet? <laughs> This ain't as steep as our lot, is it? No, it's not as steep. <laughs> That's pretty steep, but... Go for a swim, Dad. <laughs> oh, that would be some nasty water. <laughs> well, Baron, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah? Aren't you? The flooding came, and I don't think... That was probably a, I don't know, 50-year flood. Wasn't a hundred year flood, but it was pretty pretty good one. The top bar, the artisan top bar hive survived. It did. Now if we had been down, what, another 12, 15 feet, the water would have been up to the bottom of the hive. Yeah. And that wouldn't have been very much fun <laughs> feeding them. So, are you ready to try to get out of this mud hole? Let's try it. <laughs> All right, well, this should be easier than going down and coming up, so. Just have to kind of control your slide on the way down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna go home and wash my feet. Yeah. Uh, I just, I got this vision of uh, millions and millions of uh, cow poop cooties on my, between my toes. Oh gosh. <laughs> nice.